Hey guys. Let's tie a little little perch fly and uh, we tie it similar to the kicker style of Nicholas Bauer. So we do a two shank, one hook version, but we uh, give it a little bit of weight in the front so the fly will jig a little bit, um, which is uh, for the now warmer waters quite, quite successful. And um, yeah, let's start tying. So we uh, start with the shank. There's a little tail connector in here for the uh, wave tail. And we start with a tiny amount of super glue on the shank just to close it. Of that. And get a little bit more super glue up the winding here so we can close the um, gap of the shank here a little bit more that prevents the uh, the tail connector from tailing or the tail from tailing into into our system so what do we do then we do a little tail therefore we use um, craft fur you can use feathers as well but it's just a little bit of craft fur that it's supposed to play with the um, around the wave tail and they come in carpets like that you all know that and the easiest thing to do that when you want to work with craft fur is to cut it into stripes like that because then you're actually able to really easily grab the hairs out of here with the the scissors like that hope you can see that so it's way easier to grab all the hair when there's no other hair coming from the sides therefore always cut it in thin stripes and then just cut some off also make sure that you use um, extra select craft fur or fly fur because that's really nice and long and uh, really keeps the tying simple and the process uh, the result looks way nicer when you use good quality craft fur so when we have the tail in here like that we want to craft fur to stick around half half the way so we Cut it in the right lengths. And then usually you don't have to tie it in reverse, I'll just do it here so I can distribute it more easily around the um, around the shank as I have still a little bit wet super glue here. So we just distribute it and tie it down. And then you just fold it back and tie on top of it like that. We take some bucktail in white and we just repeat this step just with bucktail just to now already start building the volume of the fly. Check for the length, we'll have it like that. Spread it around. And tighten it. <coughs> Take your reverse tool, fold the bucktail back, just tie on top of it with some strong wraps. And now we can release the pressure and just form the shape of our head, uh, of our bucktail here, not of the head. And this we secure some oh, 
always easier to slide that in when this one is still locked in here. Otherwise, if this gap here is too strong and you can't open it really, you can also put this lower bit here into the vise and just bend it open and slide the other piece in. Just as a tip. So we take the stub out. I'm also now connecting my tail now already to the uh, to the shank like that, and uh, now we get this one into the vise. Take a clamp. That's why I put the tail on and get it out of the way. Again, we start with a little bit of super glue. And just close the shank. First thing, to give it more stability. And also here, we try to close the gap a little bit more, so it won't be able for the other shank to get tangled in here, like that, and secure it with some super glue to keep it stable. So what we do now is we go with another layer of bucktail, um, therefore we go two colors, so we go uh, white on, on, on the belly, you can use tan as well. Um, what I like white as it's a little bit fluorescent always and uh, gives a nice belly okay. color so I stay with white. So we had a little problem with the camera, the movie stopped, so what did we do? It's this is just the second shank and we uh, tied in bucktail, white on the belly and uh, tan colored bucktail on the back side and we tied it in reverse and now just reversing the material on the shank like that and just pull the thread out straight so we don't trap too many hairs and just go in front of it so what we do now is we take some polar reflector flash to imitate the uh, the fins of the perch so we just go along like that. And tie it off. Now we keep everything secured. Lay it aside like that and get our hook in. This here is an um, RX hook, it's a TP610 and 40. Um, got a really, really nice and um, big hook gap, so really nice for, for, for setting the hook. And uh, then we just tie this shank, as you all know it from the uh, Kicker, Kicker 2.0, uh, onto the hook. So just put some glue here to secure it. And just connect everything really well. So we go like that and we have our chenille and we wind it continuously forward to cover our shank here. I have to go in front of the uh, the uh, eye of the shank here as uh, it won't be possible for me to nicely reverse any bucktail on the on the, uh, on the shank, so we secure that, cut it, and secure it even more. So this is our middle part, and now we go on top again with a bucktail and some darker colors. So 
And now we take some really nice long hair. We move the uh, the under fur, the shorter fibers. Just tie it right on the edge. Excuse me, but for some guys, the uh, for some reason the uh, camera just keeps on turning off. Hopefully it works now. So we tied in some olive bucktail on the uh, on the back, and we get some long white bucktail for the belly. Just tie it down. And then this we reverse again and fold it back. This we build up with a little bit of glue again, just makes it easier. takes a while with the uh, with the thin GSP thread but now it looks good so we have one more layer of bucktail and then we have to form a head for the fly so we use once more bucktail and then we can decide how we do the head and I usually go with uh, some one set up again the camera turned off by its own um, I'm scared, uh, I'm scared of that I maybe used the wrong SD card so that the uh, writing speed of the SD card is not fast enough. I have to see if I can uh, rescue this video during cutting, otherwise I'll just have to make it again. So we reverse the bucktail here and then we tied a little bit of the polar flesh on top of here. I think that you missed now, um, but that's what we did and now we can have to decide how we shape the head and how we want to do that and we want to have one more step of reversing bucktail uh, then we take some ripple ice fiber and um, we were put it on top of it and use a little bit of uh, monster dub then to form the, the head uh, I think then we do kind of an epoxy head or something which has a little bit of weight in it to uh, get this jigging action that we want and we take some Feathers, grizzly feathers for mats. Just a, a great two saddle. The other ones were just a bit too expensive, in my opinion. Um, but yeah, feathers are also really, really expensive. If you want to buy some for testing, um, maybe go with the white grizzly package first. Because, in the worst case, if you want to have colored feathers, you can still color these ones with a marker. Um, it's not the best thing that you can do with uh, with feathers, but it works. So we tie them in, pointing a little bit upwards. Do the same thing on the other side. They stand a little bit out of the fly now as uh, they are leaning against the bucktail, which is not really a problem. In the water, they will move towards the tail again and um, we don't want to tie them too close to the bucktail so we keep the volume here but we uh, secure the feather with quite a good amount of super glue and uh, just give it a few soft windings again to cover the super glue before we tie in the next step of bucktail. So we take some white bucktail now again, remove the under fur and the uh, shorter fibers from the belly section uh, from the um, butt section so again the camera turned off never mind uh, so usually I don't use that much super glue while tying but with bucktail and when I tie it in reverse I really like to have super glue to prevent the uh, thread from sliding down the cone and uh, this makes it possible to to really work more precisely on these cones so I really use some super glue here
<coughs> like that. Everything is sorted. And now we have the uh, back standing a little bit higher up. Um, now it's a little bit too high, but we, so we get it down a little bit more, but we want to have it a little bit higher than the belly to uh, achieve that we have a really high back. So what do we do now? So we take some of this olive little ice fiber Not too much, just a bit. Tie it on top of here. And then we take some of the uh, sand color. For the belly. Maybe mix it with a little bit. Pearl, so it's not completely sandy and a little bit more natural colored. And then we just reverse this one here and tie on top of here. Just brush everything in. do now get our monster duck as I said before we only want to have small amounts now so we take some of the olive not too much really just small amounts so the fly will jig a little bit if you use too much material of these um, of these thin fibers of any dub like um, or niad or whatever um, they have the tendency that the air bubbles are sticking to the high surfaces of the fibers and um, this of course lets the fly float a bit uh, usually it starts to descend then after a while but um, if you haven't used too much, but if you want to have a jigging action, you have really to hardly use any material for the fly, and uh, if possible, add some weight in the head section. So we tie in. Some white on the belly side, really just small amounts, hardly any material. super glue put it on the thread so we're not getting it into the dubbing and just move it over the top and secure it with a knot got thread and then we fold the material back with a brush little front piece open here now so we put the eyes here um, as eyes for, for perch I like to stick with the with the orange color it's just a matter of taste well, I like it when you use eyes that fit to the uh, to the fin color and to the tail colors so we just Place the eyes in here like that. So this glue, just take a little bit of the E6000 here. Usually I would use epoxy now, but uh, the time is running out. So we use E6000 and then we get the eyes in here. 
and uh, fill the hole with some engulf. So we secured the ice now with the clamp. It dried a little bit and uh, now we have the shape. And now we get some engulf in it um, to get a little bit more solid, give it a little bit more weight. I would prefer some, some thin man here, but as I said before, it's empty. I hope that the video works out fine um, because I put in the wrong memory card and the reading speed is not quick enough, so it always stops the movie. And uh, yeah, that's how it works. So I have to see, and as I can only use the the girl fat man here, we probably get some bubbles in the head as well, but it uh, just happens. So let it slide a little bit into the material. And then we hit it with the light. Just let it cure a bit. If you want, you can also use for the belly the uh, the new golf series with the glitter in it. Always a nice add-on. This is dry. Just give it a little bit more, and now we go on on top. Time to get some new thin man. It's getting I'm getting decent though and it definitely doesn't matter for fishing. So we have now a thick epo epoxy or UV glue head now which gives the fly a little bit jigging action and that's what I really wanted to have. Unfortunately we have a few air bubbles here as it's uh, really hard to do that only with the fat man. But uh, as thinner you use the glue, as better it gets. You could also use the light to warm it up a bit, but uh, with the GSP thread that's not the best solution and with all the synthetic in the front. Just keep on turning it a bit and then we hit it with the, with the torch. And then the fly is finished and we have a quite voluminous perch fly with a uh, nice jigging action um, which gets a little bit slimmer of course when it's get away and um, what you can do now if you feel like it you can take a marker and you see the yeah, try to show you. you see the stripes of the feathers and if you want you can just uh, put them in here as well so you get a little bit of these stripes of the perch just aligned with the feathers. Like that. And then our little perch is finished. I think I'll uh, take this one. I want to go fishing later so I'll take this one in the water and uh, try to add it maybe to the uh, to the YouTube episode and try uh, to show you how it moves and uh, try to catch a fish with it today.